According to a blind item, Megan and her husband are flying in an entire production team from the US because the ones they wanted to hire in the UK are booked. There is one scene set for a charity which is a small auditorium. Apparently our couple are going to receive a very long standing ovation which can be shot from many different angles. There was talk of a change of clothes too, so it would look as if it happened at multiple stops. However, a standing ovation will never outweigh the booze outside St. Paul's at the Jubilee. Megan allegedly did it in Africa where she brought her own makeup photographers and several changes of clothing so that probably as soon as the little deers touched her precious cashmere, she switched it out for another and then disappeared for a fashion shoot. Neil Sean said they hired seat fillers for the charity engagements because she was afraid the seats would be empty like at the UN, especially since she is giving a woke speech. He quoted saying, more interesting that they will not allow the seats to be empty. I suspect they will be onto a very good seat filler service. These are the things where they put emails out to places saying come along and look infused. They're hoping that Megan's rousing keynote speech can really prove not just to Netflix's cameras that she can hold an audience but more importantly pushing forward. Will this be able to resonate if she was to take the platform in a political stance? It's Meghan centre stage holding court and more importantly, no doubt showing Prince Harry how it should be done. How humiliating, noted the expert. Meanwhile, royal expert Angela Levin is accused of the couple making money off of people who are ill as tickets to their UK events stand at £1,000 per day. That's atrocious. She added, they have to pay £1,000 a day to get into that? There are three days. She continued, it's £3,000. It doesn't include their travel or their flight. She pointed out this is not equal, as it would only be rich young people who can come to join. Journalist and broadcast commentator Mike Graham claimed that during the current crisis of rising living costs, we don't need some cosseted multi-millionaire coming into Britain on a private jet to teach us all about how much more kind we should be. Miss Levin said, Absolutely, they always say you know compassionate for those you know and those you don't. Adding that this is not just by speaking, these two have totally lost the plot. If they can't see how ludicrously shameless and embarrassing it is that they've sunk to this level. Henpecked ought to be ashamed that he's now paying for people to clap for him. The only way they could make this work is for it to completely fake from beginning to end. They couldn't afford to have any genuine members of the audience present because it would be blindingly obvious to them that it was being staged. Especially if it was done repeatedly with their changing clothes between scenes. They also couldn't afford to have any real media people present for the same reason. The payoff for exposing the fraud in mainstream media would be huge and the real audience members would be able to sell their stories easily. It wouldn't hurt Harry and Meghan because they're impervious to reality and would just sashay onto the next photo opportunity. It would however be devastating for the credibility of the charity that colluded in the deception.